We all get a brief window of opportunity on this planet. And while you're catching up on sleep this morning, consider this. There's a snail out there right now, risking everything to cross the largest desert of a sidewalk it's ever seen. Why? Because it beats hiding in its shell at home. Or maybe it was inspired by every snail that ever successfully reached the other side. I don't know. I'm not really sure what motivates a mollusk. But I do know this. No snail has any idea what's on the other side of that sidewalk. All they know is that they have a shell that can be cracked. And maybe not the best reaction time in the animal kingdom. But still they go. On the off chance they might actually connect with something greater than themselves. Maybe become one of those snails that inspires another snail. Now you may say this is dumb. Snails don't surf. Well, neither did any of us. Until we did. Point in space. My fingers hover above the terminal and ready to enter the code to reveal the location. But what numbers do I enter? Let's see. 3908. 9083, 0839, let's go with 8 since nothing has started with 8 yet. Oh well, let's go with this one since it doesn't match anything else. The location of a distant point in space is revealed to me. Signal has been detected and our standing with the Corvax has increased, that's exciting. Looks like they built this facility in a crater. Hey, we have more ruins, and these are actually pretty close. We could walk over there, but we're going to take our spaceship instead. You know what? Let's go to our spaceship now. I was going to check out this... Wait a second, what is this? Sword shield? Don't mind if I do. I was going to check out the caves first, but I think instead... We should get back to the ship and check out those ruins. I have a feeling we may find the creature we seek at these ruins. Where's our ship? Hey. Oh, there it is. I got a little worried for a second. I was like, hey! Hey, what are they trying to pull? I thought maybe one of those aliens took off with it. That's a little space races of me, and holy crap, that's an awesome looking ship. I should have bought that. I don't have enough money to buy that ship. What am I saying? I just bought a, an Omnitool thing. What is this thing called? I'm gonna call my... What's this thing called? I guess I'll call it Fading. Multi-tool, okay. So instead of an online tool, we have a multi-tool. And another ship just touched down behind us. And it also looks really cool. That's the classic style of No Man's Sky ship that you see in the game's advertising. Looks a lot like a V-Wing to me. If the V-Wing is what I'm thinking of. Let me double check. V-Wing. Yep, that's the V-Wing that I'm thinking of. Beautiful. You can call the ship to you. You can? Holy crap! I just keep finding out cooler and cooler things about this game. Damn, that run is really close. Let's not go too fast. I'm gonna watch the ground. Look for any life forms on the surface. I see none. Ten seconds until we reach the ruin. There it is. It's pretty interesting. Good landing. Oh, I have a question for you guys. Do you start with the same ship as everyone else? Or is it a randomized ship that you get to start with? Like a randomized guppy ship. A randomized tiny ship. And you have to buy the bigger and better ships. That's what I'm assuming. I actually assume that we all started with this ship, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna call it the guppy. No. Yeah, I'm gonna call out the guppy. Looks like a little guppy. I don't know why I was saying no. That is a guppy. It's a snub-nosed fighter. These ruins are a lot bigger than the last ones. A little more ruined as well. Seen some knowledge spires? Uh... See that same lizard head that we saw before. We still have no idea what that is. 
Oh my god! That's a lot of gold! That is a lot of gold! Oh my, look at that! Look at that, that is incredible, it's a mountain of gold! I'm mining that, we are mining that, that is our next destination after these ruins. Hey! Looks like it's just a subspecies, but let's analyze it nevertheless. Damn. It already belongs to a discovered species. That's... That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. It's gonna be tricky finding the absolute last species on this planet now that we've discovered every other one. Alright, so jetpack jump we got going there. Corvax Plat. Remnants of Mud Flalag. Interesting. What does Mun Flalag have to say to us? The strange stone marker imparts the wisdom of the Corvax echoes to those who desire it. I do not know what dialect it speaks, but somehow I understand the stories of those who once worshipped here. The Corvax echoes tell of a time long ago when the monoliths of the Atlas woke the civilizations of the Outer Edge. Their presence filled them with a desire for knowledge. Sounds good to me. From those beginnings, empires were born, spoke out, and fell silent once more. An eternity that cannot be quantified passed. Seek help with the language. These things don't sound all bad. If they just encouraged the production of knowledge, Hey, we learned the Corvax word for Traveler, how destiny. Anyway, if, if they just stood for knowledge, and the expansion of such, how could they have been bad? That sounds... just. That sounds as just as you can get. Maybe we should have gone with the Atlas. 